continuing on with the MakerMade CNC new frame build, let's go to the electronics. You can check out my unboxing video to see what should come in the box, but let's review the electronics. There are several cables included with the kit. The long blue cables are used to transfer the smarts between the motors and the controller board. The USB controller allows for you to control the controller board from your computer, and then there's a power brick for the controller card. You'll need to open all of the motors for this step. One of the main differences with this new kit versus the original is that the controller board actually comes assembled versus having to attach the heat sinks yourself and then attach two of the circuit boards together as well. Make sure to connect the left motor to port three on this board and the right motor to port two based on you actually facing the MakerMade CNC for the left and the right. Port three will be saved for the Z-axis motor. I don't show it in this video, but later on I added zip ties with each of these cables on the motor to allow for strain relief. I highly recommend this to ensure that the cables don't pull out or break during assembly and operation. After connecting the motors, we had to ensure to connect the power cord to the input on the top board. This is an easy mistake that a lot of people make with their first assembly, since there are two power ports across these boards. So again, just make sure you connect it to the top port. Once everything is hooked up, go ahead and plug it into your computer and turn on the power. That's all we need to do for the electronics for now. Let's move on to attaching the motor mount to the top of the frame. There are two main things to ensure at this point. One, try to space the motors equal distances from the center. I just placed them both at the furthest ends for this on the top bar. Second, it's extremely important to attach the motor mounts on the same plane as the sled is going to be on. You want the motor and its sprocket to be as in line with the sled as possible. If it isn't, you'll find issues later with the chain binding up and we'll have to go back and adjust these mounts. After the brackets are attached, just attach the motors with the four provided small screws and washers, and finally we'll attach the sprocket and use the provided set screw to secure it in place. On the back of the mazzle, we're going to attach the motor controller onto the back of the base plywood, and then attach all the cables as we discussed before. I know you're excited to get cutting, but that's everything we need for step two of attaching electronics, and we're going to get to the next step before I actually show any cutting. If you want to see an overview of the entire build, make sure you check out my video on the all new MakerMade CNC and make sure you subscribe to follow along the MakerMade CNC builds and check out some of my other projects. As always, thanks again for watching guys.